Why am I so tired? I can't believe it. 24, 23, number nine. You're also sitting all day. Well, normally you would be yeah. uh, sitting. Could we, could, You're sitting on this. Could we have, uh, I don't know how we'll get this. Silence yeah. for 20 seconds. 20 seconds of silence for, for room tone? Yeah. Sure. Three Amigos. What is it about that movie that works? What, what's so special? It makes it really, really work. What do you think the secret is? Me. <laughs> it's the three of us. It's, it's like uh, there are pictures where, for instance, you have a Robert De Niro and you, you mention the character's name. But here, this is a movie. Now, this isn't altogether correct, but it is somewhat a movie about Steve, Marty, and Chevy having a great time in a movie. It's also about three sort of naive characters who go down and find themselves in a situation completely over their head. And I think there's a certain charm. And it's very like, like, work, though. It's like the, the three of us right now. Yeah. It's the Magnificent Seven concept. That, I think, is what one of the things that makes it work. Now you're you were setting speak, us up for a lawsuit. No, I was going to say that it's very, very, it's a very sweet, gentle movie, too, as far as the characters we play, not the comedy. But, I mean, the characters are very likable. They like each other. They love each other. And uh, that kind of innocence is, I think, nice to see. He's wrong, isn't he? Yeah, I think he is. So yeah. wrong, yeah. <laughs> I think we've all been wrong. Yeah. Um, you, you each have your own uh, definite strong career paths, but after you did this, were there, the feelings about each other's work, did they change at all after you did this? Mm -hmm. like how? I can't tell you that. Well, we... we uh, no, they didn't change. I had... Yeah. I, well... Well, actually, Marty hasn't done that much, so in terms of that, knowing his work, now I know how funny he is, and it's, it's despicable. <laughs> I, I, I actually, Beyond I find that, I've always wanted to work with him. Being always, around two other comedians, too, you get to see them every day, and you, you suddenly tune into their nuances, and you start to see it in their work, things you never really appreciated before. I mean, because I, mean, I appreciated nothing about Chevy or Marty. And now <laughs> I, I can it. see things. And I just hadn't seen much of their stuff. And, well, and then the set just focused on me. So I'm still in a bit of the dark. I know that he loves props. And you fall? Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much. Was anybody in, uh, in charge? Was there I was in drag. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, no. his character is Landis. the leader. Landis directed it. He no. was, he was yeah. in charge to uh, a degree. Let me ask you this for all three of you, and you do it individually. If you had a special, a real dream project, something you would kill to do, something you've always wanted to do, what would it be? Save the tigers. Well, I don't know because these things, you know, you create as you, you come up with them later, right? And I just finished a movie I liked very much called Roxanne. That was always a dream for me to do. But I would also like to do Amigos 2. That would be sort of a dream because I think now that we understand our characters and now we don't have to go through exposition in the movie, we could uh, really have a ball doing it. This is your first outing as executive producer. Do you think you could do that again? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a weird title. It, I, don't, I don't even know what it what means. What does it mean? Just, I don't know. It uh, means that you were involved with the project from the beginning. That's all. Well, you also pushed a lot of people around. Uh, yeah, well, I had to get you in before 10 was the hardest part. <laughs> Well, the forklift wouldn't arrive at his house till nine. <laughs> Forklifts. <laughs> yes, uh, Chevy. Yes, my son. Uh, would you like to do more music? In your uh, no. No. Not not necessarily. I I find that to a great extent, every project I do is a dream. But then there's it's so it's so complicated. Once you have the concept, which of course in this case was Steve's, but. Uh, you have your pre-production, your production, your post-production. By the time you're finished, you never come to, you know, really uh, see your vision. So every project is a challenge, and after each one, I feel it didn't quite make it. And yet I'm wrong most of the time because usually, it, it, from other people's points of view, it's made it in some fashion. So, Marty, um, what's up for you? Is Ed Grimley going to have a movie? Or no, I don't do think. Really <clears throat> No, I'm doing a film now called Inner Space. I'm going to do another film in January called American Date. Mm, he didn't ask that. Yeah. He didn't? Oh, he didn't no. ask that. I don't think that's what the question no, was. No, that's not the question. He, was, he said, what we are you doing now? He didn't want to know what No, no, he next. said, what would no. you like 
to do a dream project. Yeah. Oh, not what are you doing, Mr. Promotion. I, I answered the question for you. Yeah. Uh, I think you would agree with what Chevy said. Yeah, I think so. If I understood anything. If it had, if his <laughs> sentence, like it was if like, his sentence know. had had a verb, <laughs> yeah. it would have made. How about a period sense. or a comma? But you know, we're not even going to see him on camera. It's just going to be really. <laughs> okay. All right, we're done. That's we it. are. Time is it. Oh, that was that's it. Too bad. You guys own the movie, and that was it. <laughs> yeah, seems like they should do an extra good. minute for that. Everybody hear that? Well, I got to go to the bathroom. Whoa. Papa, don't. Thank you very much. Do you really? I'll go. Yeah.